Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In this video, we will be uh, connecting our Linux server. Um, we're gonna just pick one of the Linux servers that we've created and actually hook, up, hook it up to our domain controller. Um, this is actually a lot of fun um, because you, it, it's, they, there's not like really good documentation on how to do this because it's not a Windows server hooking up to a domain controller. Um, it's a Linux one. So um, I remember when I first like tried to learn how to do this, it took me probably like a few days to actually like figure it out. Um, but there's a lot better documentation now and it's, it's a lot. I mean, as long as you kind of know what you need to install, it makes it pretty simple. So that's what we're going to show you today. So uh, this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content, want to sponsor me, send me some free hardware, some swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So, all right, let's get started, guys. All right, so what we have here is um, we're just probably going to use our next cloud server. It doesn't matter. It can be any any um, Linux distribution that you, that you already have. Um, in this case, we're going to be using Oracle Linux 8. Um, but if you have like an, an uh, Debian system, the commands are probably slight, and packages are slightly different, but you're probably gonna get similar packages to be used for it. Um, so what we'll do is SSH into our instance, dragon.local. So what we will do is first, we need to do the same thing we did for our, our Windows server. We need to actually update the DNS to point to our domain controller. Uh, config network scripts. So in this case, instead of 131, it'll be actually um, 145. And we'll just give it a quick restart. We could just restart the, the networking service instead of going through the whole effort of actually restarting the server, but we're gonna just restart the server. It doesn't actually take that long. So, um, and then from here, we will install a few packages. Um, we're gonna be using the Realm D package um, that essentially kind of handles like domain stuff and situations as well as a few uh, KRB5 and um, other packages to help make sure that, you know, when a user is added, um, all logs in and creates a home directory and everything. So what we're actually install is Realm D, SSSD, KRB5 workstation, um, KRB5 libs, Samba common tools, odd job and odd job make MK homder and ADCLI will be the packages that we will install for this. So give that an install. And then once we install and install to our, um, hook it up to our domain, uh, we should be able to see in here once that is all good. So there's a decent amount of packages to be installed. All right, here we go. 40, 60, and everything's installed. So we can do a realm discover, discover uh, for our zone, dragon.local. So it can, you can see that it actually ended up finding our domain, dragon.local is on Active Directory. Uh, and then it shows you all the required packages that are needed right here. Um, so in the case you only installed Realm D and nothing else, this will tell you, you know, all the other ones that you actually will need to install too. So what we do is actually Realm join and we'll do it in remote mouse so you can kind of see um, any outputting log. And then hyphen capital U for the user that you want to log in to hook up to the domain. In this case, this user needs to be at least a domain admin or higher. Um, if it's a domain user, it won't work. It has to be a domain admin. Um, so in this case, we created that user called Dragon and made him a domain admin. So what we're gonna do is log in as Dragon. Now you can see it will go through all this, all these checks um, and essentially just go, hey, you know, found the domain, found everything, authenticated with the user, and generating all the things that it needed to. So we should actually be able to see now we see our next cloud server here in our domain. Now there are a few other options, uh, settings that you will want to set to make this actually, you know, uh, feasible in other words, um, because not everything is 100% like, you know, dandy. Um, the first thing that you'll want to do is update your uh, VI sudo. Um, this is essentially the things, uh, this, is the, this file is essentially telling you, hey, who should I allow to have like admin access or any other thing? Um, it's really user access in this in the system. So in this case, what we're going to do is actually allow our um, domain admins admin access. So in this case, we'll do dragon.local, which is the realm, 
and then domain. And because we have a space, you have to do the, the escape and then admins. So what we'll also do is all equals all and all. And this will grant them essentially access to sudo and become root um, as the user if they are in the domain admin groups in the realm dragon.local. So we'll save that. The other thing that I like to uh, update is actually updating the SSSD config. So by default, it requires you to use the fully qualified domain names. So you would essentially have to log in as like dragon at as uh, as dragon at dragon dot local. Um, I don't personally like that. It might work for your your company or whatnot, but I usually like to set this as false so I can just log in as dragon, um, and it'll automatically append the domain name and try to see if that's a legit user. So the other thing is the fallback home directory. It will also create a home, the user at the domain. I also just like it having it just be the user and not the user and domain. Um, it's up to you, but you can change it here if you want something specific. We're going to change it and just do use it in this case. So what we can do is now, now that we've edited that file, we'll restart SSD. And then now we should be able to log in as the dragon user. So SSH dragon at nextcloud.dragon.local. And this is using our dragon login. And boom. So now you can see I've logged into the server and I am the user dragon. So essentially, now that I've hooked up to AD, I can log in as any any other user that can have access to the server. Um, so we can also see that it will, we can sudo dash i to become root, escalate to root. And now we have root access. So because dragon is a domain admin, we've set it so that domain admins can become root. Now you can see that that is the case. So. With this, it makes it very easy to kind of manage all your Linux systems or all your Windows systems under one um, directory service because essentially you just add a user or delete a user from the service in Active Directory and you essentially populate all these machines to be able to allow to, allow to authenticate or not authenticate if it's a bad password or a non-existent user. So there you go, guys. Um, now you know how to set up uh, Realm and hook up your Linux box to a domain controller. So if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.